So question number 47, this is also a percentage based question. A person buys three articles, P, Q and R for 3,330 rupees. So this is the sum of the cost of all the three products. And there is a relationship between the cost of P, R and Q given here. Then what is the cost of P? This is the question. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since they are asking you to calculate a definite or the unique value of P, one of the products. So it's better to use uh, variables instead of plugging in values. So plugging in values generally you use is when they're asking you to calculate a percentage of some unknown values, then uh, we use uh, plugging in values. So here they have asked to calculate what is the cost of P. It's a definite value. So in this case, it's better to do uh, like, you know, your Zene variable, then you form an equation and solve it. That would be a better approach that could avoid a lot of uh, uh, like, you know, confusions. So let's start with that approach. So uh, there are three uh, articles, P, Q, and uh, P, R, and Q, okay? So you have uh, uh, P, R, and Q. These are the three articles. And P costs 25 percentage more than R. There's a connection between this. R costs 20 percentage more than P, okay? More than Q. So the you are taking the basis Q, then R is equal to 20 percentage more. That means R is equal to 120 percentage of Q. 120 percentage is nothing but 6 by 5. So I can, it's better to write in terms of fraction. Okay, it's going to be equal to 6 by 5 times Q. Or you can write as 120 percentage of Q. Either way around, it doesn't matter. Now, um, there is a connection between P and R. So it's given that P is equal to 25 percentage more than R. Right, 25 percentage more than R. So R by default is 100 percentage. So 25 percent more means 125 percentage of R. Or which is equal to if I write it down in the fraction form, 125 by 100 is nothing but 5 by 4 of R. Correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to form the equation that is uh, P plus R plus Q is equal to 3330. I'm going to convert this equation into a single variable. Then I'm going to try to find that variable. Then eventually you can find the value of P. Okay, that is the logic I'm going to approach. So what I'm going to do next is uh, instead of P, I'm going to convert in terms of Q as well. Okay, P also I'm, I'm going to write in terms of Q. P is equal to 5 by 4 R. Instead of R, I'm replacing with this relationship. That is 6 by 5 Q. So you can cancel 5 here. This is 3 upon 2. So this is simplified as 3 by 2 Q. So now you have all the terms uh, we can write in terms of Q. Right? Instead of P, you can replace it as 3 by 2 Q. Instead of R, you can replace it as 6 by 5 Q. And Q, you can write it as, write as it is, which is equal to 3330. So you have a single equation of one variable. So you will be able to solve and find the value of Q. And once you find the value of Q, you can find the value of P, which is equal to 3 by 2 Q. So this is the approach we're going to use. This is step by step process we're going to use. Okay, first to simplify it, find the value of Q. Then they are asking you to find the cost of P. From this relationship, you can find the cost of P. I hope all of, all of you are clear with the, the approach we're going to use it here. Okay. Next is, um, uh, I'm going to simplify it further. I'm taking the LCM. So you have 2, 5, and this is 1. The, the, the lowest common multiple is 10. So I'm going to bring all the denominator of the fractions in terms of 10. So here you multiply it by 5. Okay, so you have 15 Q plus here you multiply by 2 on both sides. So it's 12 Q. And here you multiply by 10 on both sides. Okay. So it's uh, 10 Q is equal to 3330. 15 plus 12 is 27 plus 10 is 37. So you have 37 Q upon 10 is equal to 3330. So most of the case, this will be exactly divisible. Okay. They will not give you a decimal uh, answers in these kind of questions. So it will be exactly divisible. 37, definitely most of the cases, it should be uh, like you will be able to divide 3330 by 37. So you can see that, okay, 30, this is some uh, simple calculations you could, shortcuts you could do 
let's say 37 times 10 you can easily do it's 370 right so if it's this is close to 370 so from 370 if you subtract 37 you're getting 330 so that's the logic so it's going to be nine times so it's going to be 90 here because one single row is there so the value of q is equal to 90 times 10 which is 900 so if you found out the value of q which is 900 so value of p is nothing but 3 by 2 times 900 or you can say it's 2700 upon 2 which is equal to 1350 so your answer is option d is the right answer in this question option d is the right answer